a pool listening to some more music. All right, hello party people. Welcome to a cook with me. We have a couple barbecues to go to this weekend, so I figure I have some new recipes to share with you and with myself slash my family. Did I say a few barbecues? I mean a couple, two. Two is a couple, three is a few. Anything more than that is several. This is an English class, we don't care. Or maybe this could be home ec. I do care about what I'm making. So I found a recipe for cheddar jalapeno cornbread. What, I didn't even know that was a thing. And then I found, oh, we'll talk about the dessert in a second, hold on. Then I found some bacon ranch pasta salad. Way to mix things up, I'm excited for it. Not your average pasta salad. Cobweb up there, man I need to clean. Later, clean later, cook now. Food is most important, okay. And then, wait, is that all I'm making? Hold on, I gotta tell you, I scoured Pinterest for like new recipes. Oh, we're also making my famous Black Eyed Susan salad. Don't ask me why it's called that, because I can't give you a straight answer. Uh, it's basically like, oh, what do people call it? Some kind of Texas, Texas salsa or Texas chow, I don't know what it's called. Black Eyed Susan Salad is what I call it. I don't know why a country accent just came out of me when I talk about Black Eyed Susan Salad. It's delicious, a rose by any other name. You're going to love it, you're gonna enjoy it. It's great for barbecues, great for summer. It's like a summer theme kind of thing. So I was scouring Pinterest for a good dessert. And I thought, oh, I can make a, a, pea, a cookie, what's that thing called, a pizza with like, the bottom of it is sugar cookie, and then it has whipped cream, and then fruit on top. But I figured, well, we made that strawberry shortcake sheet pan bar a couple weeks ago. It's basically the same thing, but in the shape of a pizza. So I was scouring, 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 and then I found, oh my gosh, something I think is gonna be so great, so good for summer. Are you ready for it? Am I hyping it up enough? Lemon bars, barefoot Contessa style. <laughs> She's so fancy. I remember watching her on TV back when I had cable many, many, nine, I think it's not been nine years since I've had cable. I mean, now they have like Hulu, which is basically cable on demand. Okay, anyway, these lemon bars, whoo, do they look delicious. They have half a pound of butter in them. <gasps> I'm halfway excited about that and halfway my arteries are just screaming at me. Half a pound of butter, that's all of this. No, this is one pound. Oh, it's not so bad, just two sticks. That's totally normal for a dessert. I don't feel half as bad now. I feel half as bad since it's only half a pound. <laughs> All right, these lemon bars, I'm really, really excited to make those. So, I don't know what we're gonna do first. We have one barbecue tonight where I'm gonna bring half of the stuff there and then one barbecue tomorrow that I'm gonna bring the other half of the stuff. So, we gotta get cooking on this stuff. I haven't really thought this through. What should we make for? Well, obviously the lemon bars, right? Because that's what's most exciting. I am gonna throw this pasta on the stove just to get it cooking. Oh my gosh, you know what guys? You know what a lot of you told me a good hack was to take your kettle and pour water in it, especially if you have the type of stove where it takes forever to boil water. I don't, typically, but the new pots that I have, like hate my stove so it takes forever for water to boil so a good hack for that is to boil your water in your kettle because it takes like three minutes oops i forgot there's a max line so i'm gonna do that first since i also need time for the pasta salad to cool down for the pasta to cool down and then plus for everything else it's just a bunch of chopping and mixing together but for the lemon bars Really, that's the main attraction. Can we all agree the best part of any good get together is the dessert? That's why I go at least. That's what lures me in. Hang out with family and friends. Ah. Trying a new dessert? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I have sugar. What else do I need? Oh, I got some lemons, eggs, and flour. Is that really all we need? Oh, some salt, but like who cares? I have salt in my butter. Wow. All right, let's move these peppers. You know what? I even went all out on this and I got some lemon extract, but it's not in the recipe. I'm gonna add it anyway, because it's my kitchen. I said so, and I like lemons. Nine by 13 dish right here. It says a cookie sheet. No, it says baking sheet. I don't have a nine by 13 baking sheet. Well, I probably do, but it's dirty. It looks dirty and ugly, and I just think this is more presentable. Oh, preheat oven. We're off on a good foot here. 
I need to hydrate before we begin. Eleanor had a dance recital this morning and it was just so darling. It was not at all how we pictured it would be many months ago, but you know, they tried to make it as special as they could for them. You know, people were very limited and all that stuff, but it was so cute nonetheless. Watching little kids dance around is like one of the best things on earth. Cheers to you. Happy baking. Let me know if you make this recipe. All right, let's dive in. Half a pound of unsalted butter. Now, this is why Barefoot Contessa is like in a league of her own. Everyone else measures in like sticks <laughs> or cups and she's gone all fancy on me and said half a pound. So I'm pretty sure that's two sticks of butter. And Ina Garden is, if you've ever watched her, she's like, you know, she'd be the person to be like, oh, I churned this butter this morning straight from, you know, Lucy the cow I have ba out back. Ina Garden's a hoot and a half. Half a cup of sugar, that's it. What is it? A spoon is in with my sugar. Great. Now you guys know my strange addiction. <laughs> half a cup of sugar. It's as simple as that. You beat it up. And down you go. You whip it. Whip it good. The good thing is, I didn't have to soften this in my microwave for like the first time ever because I just bought this from the grocery store this morning. <laughs> and I never put it away in my fridge. All right, that looks absolutely fantastic. Now we just add two cups of flour to this mixture. And if that's not the simplest little crust or dough I've ever made in my life, but you know what, it smells so good. There's something really magical about butter. I should probably scrape down those sides. Channel my inner Ina. All right, I'm doing it. That's looking good. Oh, you know what's happening over here? I guess it turns off when the water's boiling. All right, we're gonna throw this into the pot. I don't know how much water I need. I hope that's enough. I'm gonna pour the pasta in anyway. Man, ah, that's plenty. Look at that, it's perfect. Oh my word, this smells delicious. This is basically like a pie crust, right? But we're making bars, and I feel like those are just better for, uh, for eating. <laughs> it's less messy than a pie. In my eyes, really. Plus, no one counts how many bars you have, but they might count how many slices of pie you have. I'm just saying, people judge. I don't judge. Shoot, eat half a pie. I don't care, I'll eat the other half. Mmm, taste test. Who doesn't love butter? Oh my gosh, I could bring this to the get together and people would be happy, I think. I'd be happy. <laughs> Oh wait, there's sugar in this. That's why it's so fantastic. It's better than pie crust. Okay, now you just smush it to the bottom of the pan. It's very pliable and you don't even have to grease your hands. It's not sticking to my hands. I mean, there's so much butter in this. <laughs> I think I'm really getting the hang of this whole squish method. Squish it, squish it good. Oh gosh, it's boiling over. Good thing you told me. Ah, it's so hot, the steam. What now? Now you chill it? For how long? It just says chill. Chill. Uh, let's just chill it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> how about that? All right, you chill in there. Okay, let's whisk together the filling while we wait, but we have to clean off the whisk first. Hey, you little rascal, get your butt <laughs> Okay, let's finally make this filling. I actually took the crust, threw it in the oven, and it's done. Here it is, I threw it in there for 15 minutes. It's actually not finished, but it's going to finish cooking once we put the layer on top of it, the filling, I guess, if you will. Wait, is this like a lemon pie? Is that a thing, a lemon pie, a lemon tart? That sounds delicious. All right, what are we making? Lemon bars. So we need our whisk attachment and you're going to whisk together six eggs. And of course, if you know anything about me, if we've ever met before, you know I'm using the bowl we just used to make the pie crust. Pie crust, you get me, who cares? To whip these together. So, whoops, that one got away from me. Six eggs, double crush it right here. There it goes. Man, these eggshells are flimsy. Poor chickens. 
All right, sugar. Woo, here's the kicker. Here's where the sugar gets added. Three dang cups of sugar? Three cup, man, this is, that's why this is gonna be delicious. Calories don't count when you're at a barbecue, right? And then the zest, a uh, couple tablespoons of zest. Oh my gosh. Just digging into this lemon. Why? I, you know what? We don't even need the lemon extract for this because I tell you, just a crack of this zest. Oh, why? It smells so fresh and delicious. I just bought these lemons this morning, so they're ultra fresh. Well, I have no idea how long they've been sitting on the grocery shelf, you know? I asked Alex a bunch of times, like, hey, what do you want as a Father's Day dessert? And he typically doesn't really like lemons. But I found this and I was like, we have to make this, right? He does like coconut, but I feel like no one else really likes coconut. I almost made a coconut cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I washed these lemons, by the way, okay? I don't need you on top of me. I'm not that nasty. Just take the nice yellow zest off. Once you reach the white part, that's the bitter part. You keep that crap on. Oh, you know what else I almost made? Sugar cookie. Uh, sheet pan bars. I also found this uh, brownie recipe. It was like the thin mint. Uh, there's like a layer of mint. Oh, I found so many good recipes. But this just sounded nice and refreshing, like barbecue style, you know? It says two tablespoons of zest. You guys know I don't measure anything. I bought three lemons, so you better believe I'm gonna use three lemons. So I'm just gonna zest three lemons. These are gonna be Kim's Ultra Lemony Bars. That's what we're gonna call it in my cookbook. <laughs> Actually, if it was my cookbook, I would have added lemon to the crust layer. No lie. Oh, lemon juice? <gasps> you need one cup of freshly squeezed lemons. I'm gonna get out my, uh, where is it in here? Oh, here it is. It's got a heart-shaped, oh, what's hot? <laughs> I'm getting my hair all up in that thing. All right, sorry. It had a little cookie cutter in it. Anyway, I don't use this. Ugh, Lord almighty, who washed this? Probably me. Man, you know what? I could have just cut them open and juiced them with my hands in the time it took me to clean this thing. But sometimes I like to feel profesh and use the utensils we have. Oh, you know what's great is when you are trying to get lemon juice out, you're supposed to roll the lemon. It's how you really get the juices flowing, okay? I didn't do that with this one. Alright, is this a cup? Wait, you know what? I don't know. I feel like it's a little shy of a cup, but guess what? That's all we have, so that's what we're using. You know what? That's actually exactly one cup. And then you also need one cup of flour. Oh, this thing is so easy to whip up. You just throw everything together and then you whisk, whisk it up. My nostrils right now are just filled with lemon. And it's probably my favorite thing that's happened so far this whole year. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like, but I feel like I've whipped it as long as I have patience to wait. Oh, all that lemon zest. We gotta get that in there. Oh my heavens, that looks delicious. So we're gonna come over to our, whatever you wanna call this, shortbread mixture, and just dump this filling right on top. Oh, yeah. You gotta get every last bit. Okay, and pop this in the oven. Woo, it's still hot for 30 minutes. Okay, let's tidy up a little bit. Next up, I think I'm just gonna throw together the Black Eyed Susan salad because it's super simple. Well, or should we do the, the cheddar cornbread because that has to go in the oven as well. All right, I guess we'll do that. It's summertime, we don't want that oven running longer than it needs to be. Okay, do you guys throw lemon peels into your garbage disposal? I used to, but now that I'm a homeowner, I'm like so afraid of ruining my garbage disposal. But it, it's really nice, it like freshens up your garbage disposal, it's fantastic. Okay, 
So what do we need for these cheddar jalapeno cornbread? You know what, I remember reading this recipe and just thinking, I'll do whatever I want to it. I'll just add a jalapenos. So basically, I think you just take any cornbread, like a box mix of cornbread that you want, mix it the way it tells you to, and then add some cheese. Oh, I need some cheese. You only need half a cup, but apparently I bought five pounds of it. Because Costco made me. First things first, you have to cut your jalapeno. Oh my stars, have you guys ever had jalapeno fingers and then touched your eyeball? Because I have. Oh, my fingers are wet. These gloves won't go on. I'm going to taint my new cutting board here and cut up the jalapeno. I don't know if I should cut up one or two. It also said to, to de-seed it, which takes out most of the heat. That's why I have these gloves on. Guys, if you're unaware, like the spice in this pepper, you know, it doesn't smell so bad, but I feel like it's unassuming. Also, all the spice, well, most of the spice is held in the seeds. Oh, it might be psychological, but I feel like my fingers are burning. All right, I'm leaving some of the seeds in because I like to live life on the edge. I'm just gonna cut it into really fine, like I'm gonna dice it. How about that? Woohoo! culinary school, here I come. Dicing my jalapeno with my fig knife. Oh, this cutting board is so cute. I just thought this was a really like easy, simple way to kind of doctor up some cornbread. And I saw in the grocery store while I was buying these jalapenos that they actually sell a cornbread mix that has cheddar and jalapeno in it. So if you wanna, you know, this, this to me is like the lazy route of making cornbread, but if you wanna go extra lazy, you go ahead and just buy the mix with all, you know, the stuff already mixed inside and boom, it's done for you. I kind of feel like I should dice it some more, but I need a bigger knife. And now I'm realizing the reality of this teeny tiny cutting board. <laughs> all right, I'm making a mess here. We need something to cook it in and a bowl to mix it all in. Oh, a cup of milk. You know what? Milk was on my things to get at the grocery store today. I didn't buy it, like cow's milk. Because I thought, oh, I don't remember what I needed for, but eh, I'll be fine. Oh, you need to melt the butter. I have to dirty another bowl. I'm sure you guys know this trick. I've shared it with you before. But you take the wrapper from the butter and you butter the dish. And there's zero waste, except for the plastic wrapper that you're throwing away. Actually, is this wax paper? Whatever it is, it's not recyclable. You need two eggs. Good thing I have two hands. One third cup of butter and milk. Ah, it's always in the garage. You know what? I never drink the milk. I do use it, but whenever I need it, I feel like I always have to get a new carton. One cup of milk. I'm using almond milk. I'm, it'll be fine. I'm gonna throw the jalapenos in. Ooh! Oh, what else? Half a cup of cheese. Man, I feel like if something comes with a zipper, I always ruin it. Ah, I got it. All right, is it a quarter cup of cheese or half a cup? This is the worst recipe. Half a cup, We're, let's go with that. And you know what? Just a good handful will do ya. Who cares? Ah! It's a cup of water, almost spilled. I get to use my dough whisk because it's the coolest thing that I own. I already feel like I should double this recipe because I feel in my heart this is gonna be a hit. So it's just a super simple way to make, it's like semi-homemade. Oh my gosh, you guys remember that show with Sandra Lee? Oh, I love her so much. This is what that reminds me of. Like, so, I got some on my thumb. I don't want that to burn later on. I'm gonna toss this in here and it cooks in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. But guess what? Our oven is already at 350. So I'm gonna keep it at 350 and I'm gonna cook it for until it's done. Nice. All right, we're moving right along here. Okay, so the bacon ranch pasta salad I am excited about, but the pasta is still cooling. So out of my cookbook, I share this with you guys all the time. My cookbook is such a mess. Um, I have recipes that I have not yet like put in my actual cookbook. So it's just floating around inside there. I wrote this recipe down probably nine years ago. How I have saved this in my life, I'll never know. But you basically just throw everything into a bowl. Let me get a bowl. Gather all the ingredients. Oh no! I don't think I have black eyed peas, Kim! How could I forget black eyed peas on a black eyed Susan salad? Oh no! The barbecue is ruined! 
All right, you guys. No, we work with what we have. So instead of black eyed peas, I'm using some cannellini beans. My Okay, so I've got my pimento over here, red onion, where is it? Celery. You know what I just realized? I think I have to put some cheese on top of the jalapeno cornbread. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to have a hot pan for that? Whoops. Ow! Oh, I burned my fingers! Ow! I feel good. The slow burn. Doesn't hurt quite yet. But it will. <laughs> Dang! Just like your abuela used to make, all right? Okay, in there. Okay, where were we? I need a real cutting board this time, okay? So we're gonna chop some stuff up and basically dump it all in this bowl. It'll be fantastic. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. I just remembered the name of this. Texas caviar is also what they call it. And I gotta tell you, that poblano pepper, for me, really makes it. My measurements are totally off. I use a whole pepper. It calls for two tablespoons of it. Two tablespoons of onion, I clearly add way more. Half a cup of chopped celery, clearly, again, I add way more. Uh, then one can of corn, black beans, and black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are much, I don't know, more firm, I guess. So we'll see how this tastes without actual black eyed peas. Who cares? We'll be fine, it'll be great. Now we're gonna add some garlic seasoning. Don't measure, okay? Put those measuring spoons away. Just use your fingers. Some pepper in here. Well, you know what? Get that measuring utensil out because we need one tablespoon of sugar. I mean, you could eyeball that if you wanted to. We need a quarter cup of oil, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay, listen, I'm not a fan of the apple cider vinegar. They say it's a cure-all. I have nothing that's bad enough that I need to cure it with apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar tastes like garbage going down the throat. But in this, it absolutely works and I absolutely love it. So if you are not a fan of apple cider vinegar, of course you could use white vinegar if you really wanted to, but I'm telling you, so good. You're not even gonna notice. And that's it, you just mix it together, throw it in your fridge for a few hours until it's chilled, and you're ready to eat it with some scoops, you, maybe some, what are those other, the yellow ones, the yellow corn chips, and they're like a rectangle. Ooh, eat it with those. Shoot, eat it with a spoon, I don't care. There's the final product. It's so colorful and so delicious. And, I mean, it's gotta be pretty good for you, right? Just a bunch of beans and veggies. You will be tootin'. Beans, beans, magical fruit, and all that. Just trying to tidy up a little bit. So we're moving on to our very last dish. I bought vanilla extract. I thought I needed it, I guess I don't. I guess I have it for next time. Okay, so the last dish is our bacon ranch pasta salad. I'm really excited about this. Oh, I need cheese, I just put it away. Peas too? I feel like I didn't read this recipe. <laughs> Celery, I've got that. Calls for one stick, I'm gonna use three because that's what I left out. One green bell pepper, ooh, red onion, perfect. See, it's like, it's meant to be. We have all this stuff already out. All right, bacon, let's get into that. Oh man, oh man. No, say it ain't so. Oh no, no. I don't have any bacon? I'm out of breath, I've been looking for it. Oh my gosh, my whole, my button's undone. The whole time, really? I'm a mess, I'm a mess. I'm very upset. Very upset with myself right now. Wasted $3 on that lemon extract. I don't have bacon. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I could use this crappy pre-made bacon. I could do that, uh, but I'm not going to. I feel like this is gonna ruin the dish and I don't feel like it. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the veggies, I'm gonna mix it all in with my cold pasta, and then I'm gonna head to the store and buy some bacon. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Here's our nice chilled pasta. Now that I see everything I have to add to it, I definitely need a bigger bowl than this. Here's Big Bertha. This nice chilled, gluten-filled pasta. And then we're gonna make ourselves think that we're eating something healthy by adding some veggies. So I've got some onion, then I have some celery and green pepper, and then a can of corn. Oh my, I don't think I was recording, but I was saying you just mix this all together. Obviously the best part of this is the bacon, of which we don't have. It's the star of the show. The other star of the show is the ranch dressing. Put those two things together and it's heaven. You can combine it with anything. I make chicken salad. Okay, this is a shy two cups. We're gonna see how far it gets us. But one of my aunts makes a uh, chicken salad recipe. Super simple, you just take shredded chicken, ranch dressing, and then bacon or bacon seasoning. The Tastefully Made brand has bacon bacon seasoning and it is delicious. And you have yourself just a quick, easy lunch. So that's basically what this is, but um, well, a lot more involved. <laughs> I just think it gives a little something different to a pasta salad, especially if you're used to like the basics. It's just good to switch things up every once in a while. Oh my gosh, that was like a cup and a half and I feel like it's soaking in it, swimming in this ranch. Oh my gosh, and cheese. It also says you could add peas. I assume you could just add whatever you like or want to it, you know what I mean? There are no rules to pasta salad. There it is, tomorrow morning I will cook up some bacon, maybe we'll have some for breakfast too. Ooh, we're getting fancy over here. Um, it, it will be Father's Day, as a matter of fact, so maybe that will be a great idea. Ooh, maybe cinnamon rolls too. Now I'm just getting ahead of myself. It's not much to look at, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious, and I will give you updates on how everything tastes, but there it is, into the fridge for a couple hours until it's chilled. Speaking of our lemon bar over here, I think I'm supposed to dust it with powdered sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. I took this out of the oven. It just started to brown. I left it in for like five minutes more than it said to. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I do anything to be in your arms Well, that's again. all we're getting because I ran out of powdered sugar and I don't feel like opening the extra bag. <laughs> and here is the gorgeous jalapeno cheese bread. I'll try to get a shot of it once we crack into it because that's the money shot, you know what I mean? But for now, this is what it looks like and it looks delicious. I have changed out of my dress. I'm in much more comfortable clothing. And can I tell you, I was so stinking hot, I was sweating. How about you? She doesn't care. But I wanted to share with you what I'm bringing to barbecue number one tonight. Just some watermelon I chunked up on my new tray over here. Gosh, it's so beautiful. I just cut up a bunch of veggies and then peaches because we have a ton. In here are pork steaks. I seasoned them with garlic and uh, seasoning salt and then just some ranch dressing right there. And I started cutting up th these lemon bars. Oh my stars, you guys. They are so delicious. Oh, of course I had to eat the first crumbly piece. I only ate half of it and it is delectable. So we're getting ready to leave for Father's Day barbecue. And I pulled this out. I might add a little bit of ranch dressing to this. Surprise, surprise. Looks like it all soaked up. But I just cooked all of this bacon. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to add. I, I'll probably end up adding all of it because it's a lot of pasta. A part of me just wants to dip in all the drippings as well because that's where the delicious flavor is, you know what I mean? But I will refrain. Maybe I'll add a little bit, no promises. Uh, but if you don't add it, save this, and that's what I cook my eggs in in the morning. Oh, just keep it in your fridge. I tried to cut them up in little pieces so every bite you would get a little bit of bacon in there. You know what? I would have doubled this. I would have bought two things of bacon if I would known it would have cooked down that much. I mean, that's the start of the show. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what? I should have done half to the pasta and then that amount of bacon. Ah, well. What's done is done. We're just going to mix it in and I bet it'll be delicious. One more tip before we leave. I always pack everything in these huge Ikea bags because they literally are massive and they hold everything and Muscles McGee is gonna bring it to the car because it's seriously so heavy. It's heavy, it's no joke for real. not ready. Not ready for what? <laughs> How much do you think that weighs? 
43 pounds. 43 pounds? I think like 30. <laughs> this isn't all the food. Everyone's outside right now. And this is a carb overload, guys. Two more pasta dishes coming. It's gonna be the battle of the pastas. We're gonna see which one is the most delicious. So I'll keep you posted. My bets are on mine. I'm just saying. Awesome. I'm just kidding. That looks really good. <laughs> It's watermelon to summertime, and the living is easy. Mary's gonna go in the pool on her new floaty. No! no. Oh! Do you like it? Oh, now you can touch the water. Oh my goodness. Have a hat for her, do we? I have a hat for her. Yeah, let me go get it. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. <laughs> there it is. Oh my goodness. That's just the cutest. I guess she likes that thing, huh? I'll link it below. It's from Amazon. A lot of people, wait, dad, not in her face, rude. A lot of people raved about it in the reviews. And I asked people on Instagram and they all said they loved it if they had it. Well, I would say 99.9% .9 of people said that, okay? Mmm, or they're trying to get a bite. Pasta salad, by the way, is fantastical. Let's move down the line over here. Don't tell anyone I'm eating with my hands. What? Well, well, I don't know what this is. Chili, oh, it's chili for the chili dogs. Back there, some deviled eggs. This is the leftovers, the meats. Oh, this was a big hit, these lemon bars. What else was a big hit? What? <laughs> you wanna see too? Oh, uh, what, what's over here? Oh, some macaroni, some more pasta salad. Mm, all the food. And you know what? No one wanted the cornbread. Don't know why. Looks delicious if you ask me. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope I gave you some good recipes to try. Um, all the links will be below, of course, per the usual. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And if you want to, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. And I will see you next time. I'm just showing you a couple clips that I took for Instagram. But I never posted to Instagram. <laughs> Bye.